so all my partners in the field there can make sure I'm on track and not forgetting that very, very important step. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sharon Whiteman and I host these calls with Diana and Gary and we've done it for a very long time now and it's because we love what we do and we love connecting with you. And as Diana always says, uh, with the community being an essential partnership in this success of these calls. So we're very delighted to have Jenny Messenger this morning. She's the Executive Director of Manatech Australasia, and she has an absolute devotion to growing businesses, developing teams, and coaching and mentoring individuals to realize their potential. Jenny has forged a long-standing career within the Australian direct selling industry. She brings a wealth of experience gained from a diverse number of companies driving growth with the enthusiasm and energy to inspire and innovate. She firmly believes that her ability to manage change effectively has been crucial to her success and that of the roles that she has undertaken. And she lists her career highlights as being published in the New York Times by one company as being responsible for exceptional sales and consultant growth in recent years. Also being able to contribute as a board member of the Direct Selling Association of Australia and subsequently serving a term as chair. Jenny is driven and excited by the opportunity to help others realize that their true potential lies within her favorite quotes. Success isn't just about what you accomplish in life, it's what you inspire others to achieve. So what we're talking about today is recently been announced is some incentives and tools to help us. You know, every time we help our clients and add value to them, we have an opportunity to grow our business. And Jenny's a master at offering us opportunities to do that. So Jenny, you know, and I, it's so important because it's, while we can read the stuff that's being sent out and it's so beautiful and professional, there's another element of training to implement it. And I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say, some coaching for us. Thank you, Sharon. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to be on this call this morning. And uh, yes, it's um, an exciting time of the year. Um, I'm thrilled. I can't believe that, um, you know, with uh, time flying, it is, I've been with Manatech now you know, six months and um, the journey's just begun. Uh, having had the opportunity to look at what I feel, um, where I can add value, where the team can add value, we've started rolling out, as I'm sure the field are aware, different types of connect meetings, um, opportunities to boost customer service and um, the promotional calendar is just part of that program or what I like to call rhythm of events. Um, I firmly believe it's not one thing in this business that works. It's actually a combination of a lot of things that come together to create a platform for success. So, you know, sitting in the office uh, with the team, thinking about new strategies, new promotions is just part of what I see my job as being. And, um, you know, we've had the opportunity to roll out some um, exciting uh I won't say so much innovative, but different types of promotions. And that's what I want to talk about this morning. Because basically, they are tools. It's exactly what they are. And we can spend a lot of time putting them together. But unless the field pick them up and run with them and really work them to create maximum effectiveness, they're not going to have any impact at all. So this is about how can we look at the individual promotions that are currently working in operation and actually maximize them to create uh, business growth for all of our associates and leaders. And obviously then that's a win-win situation because it builds um, everyone's business. So the first one I actually wanted to uh, revert back to, um, which I'm really excited about, is the customer referral program. We launched this um, a couple of months ago and we're just starting to see the flow on effect of it. But it is, um, I guess, an exciting opportunity to have the opportunity to connect with the customers. And I would like to say that if someone is sitting there having read the promotion and thinking, wow, this is great, I'll wait to see what customers phone me, then they're going to be sitting and waiting a very long time. So (laughs) what I'm trying to encourage via this opportunity is everyone actually has another look at that referral program perhaps uh, realize the full impact of it because I don't think that's really been realized yet because it is a pilot study and um, it is very new, but it's about giving customers the opportunity to refer someone in their circle of influence to an existing associate. Now, I guess everyone thinks, well, we're in a um, network marketing company and I've got a great network. 
Um, but there's only so many times that you can go back to your existing network with customer service. It's about continually building that network. And if I can say to me, the mainstay of building that is actually connecting with customers, caring about the customers. So to me, this customer referral program is a tool where the associate can reach out, make a connect call, um, ask the customer if everything's going well, she happy with the program. As an example, would she like to now give the gift of good health or good skincare to one of um, the people in, that she knows, friend, family or associate, and then explain what the rewards are. And the rewards really are referral bonus points that add to an existing loyalty program that gives that customer the opportunity to collect and build towards free product. But it's about tapping into that customer's circle of influence. So you're actually building your business by reaching out and then it's a win-win for everybody. Yes, there's some work for the associate to do. As I said, let me circle back. I do believe the associate needs to make the call and um, even three calls a day just to connect, um, have a chat. It's not just about putting a post on Facebook and hoping someone will react or respond. There needs to be that second level of connection. And then if the customer um, gives a referral and that referral places an order, look what happens. The new customer actually is eligible for loyalty points. The referring a customer gets bonus points and the associate who's done some of the work and she needs to absolutely is building her business. So I'm excited about this. And yes, we've launched it as a pilot. We really talked about it as we traveled around with JP, but I'm not yet seeing the um, leads coming in that I would have expected. And I'm being transparent there. And I do believe having looked at it and tried to evaluate it, are people sitting back and waiting and, you know, Waiting is going to be a long game. So let's look at uh, refreshing this, picking it up and really maximizing it. And um, I guess that probably leads on to the next. Uh, Can I jump in there just for a sec, Jenny? I was going to say, but did you have any questions about that first, Sharon? Well, one of the things I have is a bit of advice, actually. But, you know, I think it's, a, it's such if you make those calls, which sometimes the phone gets heavy. Mm -hmm. from the perspective of what value you have to offer that person. Like that's a great, I love bonus points. It's an, I think it's such an amazing opportunity, this pilot and for them to get extra bonus points. That's like giving them money. You know, it's, it's, okay. and we've never had the opportunity to do that. We've always asked, you know, and so if somebody's struggling of how to do it, every time there's something that comes up from corporate that's new, that gives you a, an excuse to have a touch point with your client. Okay. So every time that this is something that I just thought of you, this has come out. I have, I'm sorry, I haven't called you about it yet, but I'm noticing that people are really loving it. Something that's true for you. And then what the other thing you should do when you're doing a new touch point is touch based. How are you going on the products? Make, if you're not really current with them, because they might tell you a benefit or you might have to ask some questions about their sleep quality or whatever. And as soon as you get a benefit they've enjoyed, another way you can do it is, is there someone you've thought of that would like to have that better sleep as well? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's about actually having that customer's interest at heart. I yeah. look, believe in the um, law of life. The more you give, the more you receive. So if you give people the opportunity of good health or and then you give them the opportunity of gifting that forward, paying it forward, um, everybody benefits. And um, that was the behind the scenes premise for coming up with what could we do as a customer referral program. So um, I really would like to see how we could maximize it because I wanna take it from a pilot status onto part of our business platform. But um, you know, I need some um, win-wins to make it a valid argument. So I'm passing it back to the field to really maximize that. And uh, you know, again, um, if I may, I'm saying it's about, again, you'll hear me say connect so many times, I'll probably drive you crazy. But to me, that's the key element in our business. And the more we connect with our customers, the more we connect with a call a messaging, the more we're building the relationship that actually underpins what we do and why we do what we do. Absolutely. And it, I, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant what you've done. Yeah. And, and to that point, I mean, um, 
I guess the promotions that are being rolled out now do need that opportunity to connect. And the other element I've seen kick into the marketplace quite recently, um, you know, we can make calls. Not everybody picks up on a call these days. Quite often it will go to a voicemail or a message bank. And I think that's another educational learning for our associates to be prepared to leave a message that's value add should the voice message kick in. And it can be something very simple as, um, you know, Sharon, as one of my VIP customers, I'm reaching out just to check that um, you're happy with your products. Uh, not sure whether you needed to add or change anything. So I will reach out after Christmas to check with you. Um, in the meantime, can I take this opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year? Take care and I look forward to catching up with you in the new year. What that's doing, um, it's creating a bridge between this call, the voicemail, and an expectation that there's going to be another call coming rather than a cold call syndrome, what I like to call a cold call syndrome. But that's also building the relationship. When that person opens a voicemail and hears that it was a connect call or a caring call, she is more likely to respond or call back or she's more likely to be receptive to the call that's next made in the new year. Now, I've just reeled out something that I felt comfortable with saying. I, it needs to be personal, and uh, I'd like the associates to think about just scripting something, just make a little message, have it by the phone that comes from them, and it's personalized, that they are ready to leave that key message rather than, oh, um, uh, I didn't realize uh, you, um, you know, what can happen and then put the phone down because they're not too sure what to say, when to say, and how to say it. So just a little tip on how to manage that thing that's creeping in today that most many calls, not most, many calls go to voicemail. That's brilliant coaching, Jenny. Thank you. Okay. And um, I guess the, the other one that um, I'm really excited about too is our um, New Year, New You, um, the $30 voucher. Uh, again, this was created to maximize the business opportunity and I call it a bridging promotion. Um, it is on the flyer voucher. It to me, <clears throat> I've had the opportunity over the years to see how a company and field can um, utilize a strong month to bridge into a weaker month to create an ongoing business platform because that's what our business is all about. So pre-Christmas, you know, is usually a very busy time of the year. And along with automatic orders, extra orders can be placed, whether it's for, um, you know, just extra health or time going away, whatever the reason. So the idea behind the voucher was to give, again, the gift of good health, inspire the customer to think about um, placing an order in January, a one-time order, and... Um, being able to redeem the $30 voucher. And again, uh, this is another one that's going to be driven by uh, making those calls. Now, they can be made pre-Christmas. They can be made in the new year. But again, it's about planning your business around um, the time out, the holiday time, um, and, and taking into account the seasonality. To me, having a even business platform, which creates income for the associates and for the leaders is where we need to make sure that we have a good strategy. So to me, this one um, is about uh, encouraging those orders coming in in January when people can think about, oh, I'm not going to start um, thinking about my health or my business or they make a New Year's resolution and it doesn't follow through. There's just that little incentive, that carrot, to say, let's do it now. So that's a win for the customer. And it's a win again for the associate because I, um, I feel that January can be a challenging time in the business. Um, it can take people uh, time to get over what I call plum pudding fever. You know, they've had Christmas and holidays and so, you know, everything's happening. So I know uh, from experience, if I get a, a voucher in the mail or in the post, that burns a hole in my pocket, it encourages me to redeem it and spend it. And again, that was the back end strategy of coming out with this um, voucher program. That's a brilliant strategy, Jenny. Okay. We've well, never had that. 
Well, and, and you know, I'm, if I may, a little segue, um, what I'm excited about is an opportunity of working with the senior leaders in Manatech. We have a, you know, a regular call, as you're aware, Sharon. And, you know, it's about um, working together in partnership and realizing sometimes <laughs> with respect that we don't know it all at back end. I mean, really, uh, we try hard, but do we always get it right? No. And uh, we had a, a sort of not a pre-launch, but a discussion about the voucher with the team. Uh, the leader team to uh, advise what was coming. And it was very interesting learning for me in as much as understanding, you know, um, I guess the process of the business platform, which is slightly different. Um, I'm learning very quickly. And the question that was raised was, well, with a one-time order, uh, the $30 voucher, if a customer then has to pay freight, then the $30 voucher really isn't, worth as much as I thought it would be. So guess what I'm gonna do? Any guesses? I'm gonna make this voucher free shipping in January. Wow. Okay. Executive decision. I'm announced, I was looking at this this morning uh, while I was having a cup of coffee, ready to come on this call. And I'm thinking it's such an awesome opportunity to build the business in January. How can I give it even more energy? And if free shipping is a thing that will get the associates and the customers excited, that's what I'm going to give you. Free shipping on redemption of this voucher. Ooh, I might get the, but no, seriously. Um, what I'll do is I'll back it up with a comm strategy with marketing on Monday. Let them know what I've done on this call so that, so that everybody knows that now that, um, that one-time order to redeem the voucher with the, um, you know, the requirements of no less than 100 PV, redeem the voucher and you're going to get free shipping. Okay. So will it have to be phoned in then? No, well, the order, this voucher has to be phoned in anyway, because uh, at the moment it's a... Because you can't do a part thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it's something we've launched, uh, you know, with respect, um, IT backup, um, and I hope there's no one on the IT team listening, can be like pulling teeth to get <laughs> changes made. So it's a manual process, and the um, order has to be placed with customer service. Um, they have to phone in. And there's a unique code on every voucher and that code has to be then entered into the system. Customer service will um, enter the order and then they'll tag it free shipping. So, um, you know, um, I think we need to maximize this fabulous opportunity and I think that might just give it the edge. So that's what I'm going to do. And who was that to dis distributed to Jenny? It's going in auto orders. Yeah, no, it's going out in every customer order from the 1st of December. Okay. So, Everyone, it's about getting something that's exciting, um, telling them that they've got a $30 voucher that can be redeemed between the 10th of January and the 10th of February. That's all on the voucher. So it's actually going out um, in orders as at the 1st of December. So it can be given as a gift. It can be passed on to, you make a, a call to a new customer um, to encourage them to trial the product. And then obviously, this isn't just the be all and end all. In my mind, then um, yes, it's a first time, not a first order for a customer. A customer has to have placed an order to get this in their order, okay? Then a customer is not for the first order because that mucks up the, um, the commission structure and the uh, PV on the bonus points. So it's an, a second order, but a one-time order, and it can't change an automatic order. All this information, and I hope I haven't confused anybody, is actually up on the, uh, on the library. But it can be given as a gift, okay? But it has to be phoned in, the voucher number has to be quoted, and customer service will place the order on the system. Fantastic. That's great for reactivation for people that have dropped off a little bit. There's so many ideas people could have to use that. Yeah. You know, and to me, it's, um, again, I talked about the rhythm of promotions and um, one thing slotting in or working in partnership with another uh, to create energy. We've also got, and I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but I think it's an important message. We've also got the Come to Conference um, program for associates, which is giving associates the opportunity to earn money against their conference investment. Well, this also works in partnership with that because it's driving sales in January and I really would like um, 
everyone in the field to feel uh, that 2020 has started on an exciting platform with a, a promotion that's exciting to work with, an opportunity to um, offset their conference uh, registration, come to conference. Um, I tell you what, we've got an amazing program that we're currently working together on to, again, uh, kickstart 2020 um, and drive an amazing year. So everything works as a rhythm. And um, that's what I'm excited about. I really am. Well, one of the things that, I mean, I've only known you for a short time, but nothing's random. Everything's well strategized and thought through with this wellspring of experience behind it that I think is just priceless for us. Thank you. Well, I think we've got to uh, remind ourselves that a scattergun approach does not work. Mm. Um, it can confuse people. It can, um, and confusion leads to um, inactivity. You know, I want to, via a promotional calendar that is well structured, um, give activity that leads to productivity then productivity leads to leadership development. And then that's where the calendar of events works in partnership with the promotions. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, as we've already done the connect with Manatech uh, meetings, um, I should be traveling around the country again, meeting with leaders and the, and the teams. I mean, to me, that was invaluable, but again, already the um, Manatech Business Academy is in the calendar for August. So to circle back and talk about a strategy, conference will be about inspiring people to want to be at the MBA mid-year um, and also on an exciting incentive trip, dare I say. Uh, and they all work together. And to me, um, that starts to create excitement. It starts to create energy. And what we have, if you think about it, it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. They, all the parts start to fit. And at the end of the year, we've... Um, achieved an amazing um, program and successful um, strategy that has benefited everybody. That's the goal. Oh, fantastic. And that's, uh, well, I'm going to say it again, that's something we've never had either. We've, it's, it's always been sort of, you know, launch surprises. The, uh, the energy has been on surprising us mm -hmm. and that's hard, hard to really grab hold, hold of, of leadership and planning in, in a way that a bus our business could be more structured, it doesn't have to be random. That's it. It's absolutely, absolutely. Brilliant. And underneath that too is, um, I guess, a desire to want to connect. Um, I'm asking the uh, associates to connect with customers. I feel that I need to connect with associates and, and the leader team. Um, I'm not one to sit behind a desk and make decisions. I like to get out and connect and, you know, it's, it's been challenging. I'm, I'm calling it as it is. Um, uh, I'm meeting with as many people as I can. But I, through this call, I'd also like to say that my course schedule is pretty crazy too. Um, I'm hoping I'm getting to speak to them and, and um, just have a, a, a connect call. I won't call it anything else. Or sometimes a business planning call with um, the leader team. But it, the communication is a two-way thing. I need to build uh, the relationship and um, the feeling that I'm there for everybody. But that is also means I'm asking if you need uh, my support or you need my help, please don't wait for me to call you because I'm going to be thinking your business is doing exactly what you want it to be. You're happy and you're firing along and send me an email, um, reach out, ask for a chat, and I'm more than happy to make time um, within that course schedule to reach as many of you as I can. I think Fantastic. that's Fantastic. We've got some questions coming in. So um, I can find the document for you in the library. Um, oh, Diana can do it, actually. She's just mm -hmm. there. Um, th I think the document was the explanation of the voucher, Diana. Yeah. Is that correct, Wendy? So both promotions will have a document in the library. Um, and John and Anna, you said you have a question for Jenny. You might have to type it in either the Q&A or in the chat. What an amazing opportunity. And yeah. while, I'm waiting, while I'm waiting for the um, questions to come up, can I just say, um, Sharon, my thoughts and prayers are going out to all those that are being impacted by the bushfires. At this, at this time, having been through one, two myself in um, bushland, 
I know how dreadful they are and um, I just wish everyone the opportunity to have a safe and happy holiday season with their family and friends. Terrible. Yes, it's just terrible what's happening around our country. Mm -hmm. I had a small brush with it myself um, and, you know, it was 24 hours of disruptment but, mm -hmm. and nothing terribly, but, um, oh, here's John and Anna. Okay. But yeah, it's just terrible. So John is, is this promotion just for customers or for associates who are really customers? So we've got a large associate base that are actually just long-term yeah, every product They can redeem the on a one-time order. They can't change their automatic orders. It's a one-time order and um, to redeem the voucher to phone into customer service. Good question, John. And is there any other questions for um, Jenny before? One thing, which leadership level do you have to hold to attend the leadership call, Jenny? Oh, gosh. Now, that's one I wasn't prepared. We're I actually think it's visiting that. Uh, it's been, oh. um, sorry, please jump in, Sharon. Well, it's been executive director. Absolutely. And what I'm saying, and thank you for that, what um, I'm just working on with the team now is to see whether that needs um, a little bit of uh, a change, but I want to circle back to the leaders that are on the call first. Um, we need to make sure we're reaching as an effective leadership team as we can, and um, whether we broaden that. Um, yeah, but I want to work in partnership with the existing executives just to make sure that we're going down the right track. Again, it's about not making a decision and heading off blinkered thinking you're doing the right thing. It's about working in partnership um, so that we end up with the real um, results and a realistic outcome from what we're doing. And half of it too is pre-releasing some information and obviously there needs to be some semblance of structure and order and who needs that information first before it goes out to anybody else. So there's a few um, low-hanging fruit off of that, but I think the call needs to be revisited and then we'll advise accordingly. Fantastic. Um, The orders for the voucher. Yes. Is there any maximum or minimum that you need to order to use the voucher? Yes, Those? it's 100 PV minimum. 100 PV, okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's a minimum 100 PV, uh, Mandy. So, um, and they get $30 off on that. That's a, that's a great and question. free shipping. <laughs> and free shipping. So it's 40, what is it? 40, 45 or 95. <laughs> Okay. I, I might end up being hung, drawn and quartered by Sindhu when I get into the office on Monday. No, I'm only joking. Um, but I just feel that that was an element that um, hit me after discussion on that leader call as to the impact of that. And um, I needed to do what I could to minimize that negative impact. Okay, no worries. Um, and Mandy, we're just trying a different browser to get into the library right now. Mm -hmm. So if um, we miss that, we'll message me on Australasian Connect and I'll get that to you. Um, and Jenny, is there any updates on the conference? Is there anything new you wanted to highlight or well, refresh? Um, I think that really is a key date on the calendar for us um, and well, for everybody and a date not to be missed. Um, so yes, it's a, a longer program. Um, we've got some very uh, strong keynote uh, presenters. There's a couple who are keeping me waiting who told me they were trying to rework their calendars to come to uh, us for the Australasian conference. So I'm being a bit sensitive as to who I say is actually going to be um, with us. Um, but I'm hoping that um, wh whoever can't make it will still be able to have an impact on conference uh, with a live stream video. I, did I do that well? I'm not too sure. <laughs> But we've sent the invitations out and obviously I've heard that Australia is a um, key destination. The Australasian market is dear in everyone's um, heart. So we could end up with a larger VIP contingent than we had last year, but who knows? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, it's, every, it's, everybody, it's in everybody's heart and also travel plans, isn't it? <laughs> So that with our two uh, absolutely contracted keynote speakers, um, the first one, Dr. Adam Fraser, um, he was the first one I reached out to because um, I've had the pleasure of uh, working with him and having him attend um, a, a couple of conferences that I've um, had the pleasure of organizing, running for want of a better word, and a, a leadership meeting as well. And um, I, I think it's going to be very interesting, exciting for his um, presentation. And then Yossi Ginsberg, again, I've utilized. And I guess 
uh, to validate why I've chosen those two as the first two keynote speakers with a conference, I guess, under my um, umbrella or in what I'm trying to manage. To me, Adam gives the um, understanding of um, the physics, the brain, how we cope with disappointment, how we cope with problems um, in business and personal life and how to work around those, um, how to move on. And I'm, I guess, giving a very short, brief um, overview. Uh, Adam is a brilliant presenter and he will connect, but that was the premise for contracting with him. So it was educational learning, understanding, and then Yossi is more the inspirational partnership. So the two speakers who are, I guess, targeting two different areas that I think are key in what we do. And um, Yossi is a storyteller, un undoubtedly a storyteller, but with an amazing experience. He, um, he actually survived uh, two weeks in the Amazon jungle on his own and um, it was his will to live and what he believed in that he believes impacted his survival. But he went through a, well, an amazing journey. And, um, and I think that um, will be an interesting, um, not yeah, story, but story seems to minimize um, how we can overcome everything if we believe. And of course, what our conference theme is, you know, dream, believe, achieve. So um, I think that just uh, is about having belief um, and that can go in several different ways. I acknowledge that self-belief is one of them. And uh, then, of course, I'm getting rather excited and rather nervous about um, uh, launching an exciting Achievers Club uh, destination. Uh, our recent Achievers Club experience and um, they were all trying to get out of me where where they were going and I think they thought if they plied me with drinks it might loosen up the tongue a bit but this old bird <laughs> has learned many lessons during the years and uh, you know um, I walk around like James Bond before the uh, trip destination is uh, is released but I'm excited I think that's another element that will give a lot of energy and excitement to the business so we're off somewhere in the world um, on our Achievers Club. And uh, so that with our VIPs, um, with our Bring Back Fun Night, which uh, yeah, I couldn't wait to bring back. That's that's who I am. I can't wait to dress up to. So, you know, it's about having fun. A, a team that has fun together stays together. It's about having fun. And I believe you used to do that and it was dropped. So I couldn't wait to bring that back. So we've got fun. We've got keynote speakers uh, from Manatech Corporate. We've got education on product. We've got some things to share with you. I'm not going to say any more than that. Uh, we've got training. We've got, um, oh, oh, it's just a jam-packed agenda that I'm going to say I want to make sure, and I believe we will, have everyone walking away saying that was the best investment they've made in their business and in themselves. So that's the plan. And um, I'm, I'm bringing, Sandy and I are working together. The team, we're already on to it. So if you're not there, team, uh, Australasia, then you're going to miss out on one of the best, biggest fun gigs of Manatech's year. Oh, now I put myself in the frame. <laughs> um, <clears throat> one of the things we're having trouble with the library, so um, Dan has checked and I've just checked, and I don't think it's there. But just so you know, I had, there was something else missing from the library this week, and I talked to Sarah about it in in the upgrade. Is it, it everybody want to yeah. give a clap for the new library? It's amazing. Um, some things got refreshed backwards. So maybe that's something. So we might have to wait till Monday to check on that. Okay. And oh, um, another thing about the incentive. So it's a huge, you know, effort for our community service or customer service people to add another job to take these orders on the phone. And it also changes things in the warehouse. So there's so many things behind the scenes. So I know that a couple of people have messaged me to say that there are some challenges with the, um, the October incentive with the, the life sachets for registering someone new, the two gifts that happen. And there's, yes. uh, the so there's Cafe. people here that are there having trouble getting those gifts. So what would be the proceed, the best procedure for them? Okay. We actually identified that, um, problem and it definitely was a problem and again that was raised on a leader call so we need again it's about being alerted to that wasn't happening we got onto it and um, it was uh, an, an IT 
uh, challenge. So it wasn't the warehouse. So we had to take ownership of something that uh, missed in the promotional setup of the uh, of the promotion. So we've run a report, we've identified those who have not got uh, the Glyco Cafe. It, it has been um, since, it has been amended, so it, it should be happening, but there was a gap. And I think we've identified about 27 customers that didn't get the Glyco Cafe. I actually wrote an apology complimentary note on Friday and that's now um, off to the warehouse and that's going out on Monday. So the least I could do is apologize to uh, the customers that, that hadn't uh, been sent as we had expected and um, hope that they still enjoyed their product um, when it arrived. So it was, as I say, it was an IT challenge, um, but we've addressed that since. Okay. Okay. So, um, and there was also an immune start that, and the, the life sachets. Yes. 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 So the same thing was an IT issue. Yes. yes. But so, I think that has all now, unless it hasn't, my understanding is um, that we've identified uh, the gaps and they've been um, filled. But if anyone has a, a situation, please let us know. Please contact customer service. That's the only way I know that something's not working as well as it can, should be or there is a need for me to do something or the team to do something. So um, just alert us to the situation and we can address it, please. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I'm, I had a, a customer who... <laughs> He just always, for some reason, his product store was missing. And I tell you, customer service turned themselves inside and out to help that guy in the last couple of weeks. <coughs> and he's been, anyway, he's prickly. He's a prickly corporate guy. And um, in the end, he was happy. So, I mean, I know, you know, I make mistakes too, and we all make mistakes, but I'm very grateful that we're all working together to make it right for people. So um, I'll get a message to these people to contact um, corporate yeah. director on Monday if, if hasn't happened yeah. and look uh, the warehouse has had challenges they're right in the middle of a bushfire zone they've been working on emergency staff we don't need to communicate that all the time everybody's being challenged but if the field feel that we are doing the best we can and if we have a problem we will work to address it and get it sorted as soon as possible that's the best we can do are we always going to get it right no mm. but the team are committed to doing the best they can and and you know everyone's a human and humans make mistakes so we just have to work to get to the solution as quickly as possible. And probably, you know, a note in the next uh, newsletter about the our house being in the bushfire zone would be great. People would have a little bit more compassion in, yeah. <laughs> in their complaints. Well, you know, even even the, um, the couriers, the couriers, you know, they yeah. haven't to get through. Orders have been delayed. Um, you know, we we haven't experienced a situation like this ever before. So everybody's trying to work through it. You know, yeah. it's impacting everything. Um, yeah, so I might just make a note of that, yeah. That's terrible, isn't it? Um, and there was one other question. Um, oh, the date for the voucher just to refresh. So they're shipping in orders from the 1st of December and they can be redeemed between the 10th of January and the 10th of February. Absolutely, correct, correct. correct. So, and can you get the voucher? No, the, so the vouchers can only be used for one-time orders have to be 100 PPD and has, can't be your first ever order. So it can't be a registration order. So that's yeah, it's the first that question. customer. It's an existing customer placing a one-time order. It's not a and new- And that can be an associate or a preferred customer, yeah, correct? It's, it's not a new customer placing their first order. It's a customer yeah. who's perhaps joined in December now. Um, they get their order, they can redeem it in January on a one-time order, not on an automatic order. And it can be an, an associate account number or a preferred customer account number. It just needs to have an account number, correct? Okay, perfect. So, no, obviously I'm not being unclear. It's for associates and customers can redeem the vouchers and they're going in all orders, correct? To associates yes. and customers. Yes. From December 1st. Yes. So any order in December and it's going out so it must go, go in the December and January orders or just once in December? Well, we decided to stop it um, and I'm not too sure of that anchor date at the moment. I didn't make a note of that sincerely. Uh, it won't go out for the whole month of um, January. We didn't want to someone getting an order and with a, a late redeem yeah. it or late and then they couldn't redeem the order. Um, and I, I'll make sure that that's updated in a, in a comms. It, it should be on the library, actually. I just haven't got that information in front of me. 
Well, I, I looked at everything I could think of in the library. I can't find it right now. So either I'm no, not multitasking I always, well. I always get hit or... with a question that I haven't actually made a note of. So I'm not that's surprised. Right. No, that's no, right. no, that's right. I thought, yeah, I should have... Uh, uh, have had that in front of me and I didn't. Uh, when you're working on the next three promotions, I have to say these are almost history for me. And now I'm making excuses. So I just don't mm. want to. And if anybody didn't get a voucher in their December order that they've already received? Uh, then let us know. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I, um, I need to be aware of that. Um, and look, in all transparency, I had a call late on Friday of someone who got an order without the voucher. So uh, we're already onto it, ready for a plan B, but I need to see whether that was just a random situation. So um, look, yeah, I call it as it is. It was about and 10 so five, I 10 think five. it's um, Penny and, sorry, I've lost the comment, and Pauline um, that have had, were, were your orders generated from December 1st or, you December. said they have arrived this week. Yeah. No, orders December 1st. And that's the, when I got the call. And let me just uh, revert back. Um, I needed to go then back to the warehouse to check whether it was an order shipped in November and it only just received because of the delays of the bushfires. To quantify this, all orders from the 1st of December should have a voucher. So we're on to it. If something's happened um, due to whatever circumstances, each voucher has got a unique code. So we stayed back and come up with a plan B. If I need plan B, it will go out in the comms on Monday. Okay. Lots of gratitude for you in the chat. Um, Cause these are, so this is probably some of your um, questions that you're talking about. These that could be answered on a leadership call, couldn't it? That's probably yes. where you're, where you're thinking, right? Yes, um, and there's one other question here. Um, and which is I alluded to before. So, um, Irene, there, there's a question about the success system that's disappeared since the upgrade of the library. I know Sarah's already communicated that to U.S. corporate. So um, maybe we can get an update on Monday from Sarah. Yeah, she's on to that one. And um, yeah. we've got that in hand. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, I, okay. So, Jenny, how would you like to complete today? Well, I actually feel that I'd like to revert back with, um, uh, I guess, refreshing, re-emphasizing that, um, you know, we're in network marketing. And to me, the key driver in network marketing is actually connecting with people and caring about people. And if we care about others and give them the service, then we will get the business rewards. So I'd like to reinforce that we all look after our customers like we would like to be looked after, that we give, that is the competitive edge that we have over the retail market, over that retail environment, that we can offer excellent, if not awesome customer service. And then your customers actually make a decision to buy on emotion, on connection and on relationships then we'll rationalize why we've put the money on our credit cards afterwards. <laughs> it's just a fact of customer service builds a relationship and it's about taking care of our customers. It's not about taking an order and moving on to the next person in the queue for want of a better. It's about looking after that customer from that very first order. So they are customers maybe on the journey to associates, um, you know, somewhere down the track. But, Please remember our competitive edge is how we care about our customers. Make those calls, connect with them, make, uh, get comfortable with talking to people. Um, what can I say? Um, that will strengthen the business tenfold. And I'm not too sure that it's happening as well as it could be with respect at the moment. That's a great action, Jenny. And because there's lots you can do over Christmas, lots of people you'll be connecting with that you don't mm -hmm. connect with often. Mm -hmm. And you've got lots of tools here to gift them some good help mm -hmm. and something, you know, some of the benefits you might have enjoyed or other people have. So Jenny, thank you for your graciousness and your leadership and, and your time with us today. It's been really important and we should probably do it more often. More <laughs> Well, if um, I get the invitation, I'm more than happy to sit here and chat. I love, you know, I can get verbal diarrhea if you let me, but <laughs> respect. But let me also sign off by wishing everyone a, a very safe and happy holiday time. Um, treat everyone um, 
as precious we all are and there's a lot of people going through terrible times at the moment so being safe is paramount in my mind and um, i look forward to connecting with you as many of you as i can and get those conference registrations in i want to see as many of you as possible that would be awesome thank you our conventions are the best jenny thank you so very much remember last call of the year is dr nugent we're going to cover everything nutritional glycans so um you and you'll want to have your guests on that call okay we've got a whole group of our and a lot of you have facebook groups we've got a whole Facebook group that often ask questions about that. They're going to be getting announcements and notices that this would be the call of the year to be on. So we'll see you guys on the call next week. Jenny, have a great weekend. Have a wonderful Christmas from all of us. Thank you, Sharon. All right. See Bye. everybody. Bye.